Now, we're still talking about visual balance, but this time we're talking about asymmetry. And again, I do have to underscore the fact that we're certainly not talking about something that's um, we're not talking about literal symmetry. Uh, when we talk about asymmetrical balance, um, what we're really talking about is an unequal distribution of visual weight. Uh, in other words, there's more visual weight in one part of a photograph than another. Sometimes um, there's also a conversation about the rule of thirds that comes into a conversation about asymmetrical balance, um, but we can get into that another day. Um, Cindy Sherman uh, is an excellent example of uh, how to use asymmetrical balance to achieve a certain amount of uh, drama or tension within a photograph. Um, and part of the reason for that is that she mimics a lot of um, kind of techniques that filmmakers use in order, uh, or certainly she did in her uh, series of photographs known as the untitled film stills. So like this photograph, um, there an, there's an unequal distribution of visual weight here. Um, we see Cindy Sherman here on the right side of the photograph where, you know, that's where we look first. That's where our visual emphasis is first. And there's more visual weight um, on the right hand side than there is on the left hand side. Um, here's another great example, a perfect example of the rule of thirds. Um, again, we have uh, Cindy Sherman on the right. Um, we have some relatively empty space over her shoulder on the left-hand side of the photograph. I know there's a lamp there, but certainly uh, the figure has more visual weight than the light does. Um, here's another good example. And you can probably start to pick up on what I mean when I say that she's kind of mimicking these tools and techniques that um, that movie makers are using. You see asymmetrical balance way more often when you're watching movies uh, than symmetrical balance. Unless, of course, you're watching a Wes Anderson movie and everything is symmetrical all the time. So, uh, and Cindy Sherman is doing this for a reason. She's doing it, A, because she's um, kind of reappropriating this visual language that's already been used in movies. But the reason that it's used in movies is because it adds tension, it adds drama, it invites you in. And that's something that Cindy Sherman is playing around with in her untitled film stills. 